Hello and welcome back to Kaiserreich. Um, so, a while back, someone who commented on these videos commented about audio issues, and I think I've identified the, identified the problem, and I think it's a hardware issue. I think it's something related to the cable and my mic. Because every now and then when I move the mic, uh, it just cuts out for a little bit and then cuts back in. Uh, I think it's something with the, um, like the place where you plug the mic in. And also, what the fuck happened here? I forgot. I had a bunch on my mind uh, lately because, you know, the Doctor's thing and also uh, stuff in the other uh, series. And also, uh, like, I've got so many comments that I can barely almost uh, barely read all them all. So apologies if I haven't read your comment. And uh, yeah, stuff like that. Good problem to have, I suppose. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I should say before we get rolling here. Uh, so, yeah, we got into a war with someone else. I don't remember who can't go through this entire list and figure out who it is. I'm just gonna have to trust my allies that it's not some dumb shit. Wait. Yeah, it's not some dumb ship. shit. I'm not at war with the USSA. Union of Socialist American States. Alright, let's uh, zoom in and get right into the brass tax of things here. Oh, also we're running out of oil. Let's actually not get into brass tax. Let's um, let's fix that situ situation first. And also we have been bombing something here. Uh, destroyers, French destroyers. Uh, no convoys though, which is uh, good because if there's convoys, that means naval invasions. Uh, let's yeet us, delete us, these guys. Uh, so that we get the manpower back and also can't accidentally trigger them and spend a bunch of... Wait, hold on. And accidentally spend a bunch of um, our fuel. Okay, uh, so someone uh, no, uh, suggested that I invade in the east here and it's not a bad idea and it was one that I considered Problem is, I don't think I have enough troops to do that right now. If I did, I would, uh, because it does throw the AI into complete disarray. It does not know how to handle it. They will pull off troops, which will free up troops here, because, you know, our boys have enough troops here to meet the enemy's boys. Right, uh, so we gotta shore up Leon here. And I think a good way of doing that might be actually to move one unit back here. That's only one division, which is kind of worrying. Gonna move. These are still. Oh, uh, these are hills. Um, no, actually, I think I'm gonna uh, keep that one there. I'm gonna move this division up. The best way would, would probably be to just rush the tank in, because they can get in fast. But the the tank I'm using them right now to fight these guys. Sadly, I'm fighting a bunch of uh, like I'm fighting a heavy tank as well as a bunch of infantry here. Um, before I'm actually fighting the guys attacking Leon. How many are attacking here? It's only two divisions attacking from there, so... We should be good. Because uh, these are treated as separate fights, I think. So even if we attack, it's not going to affect this division. Oh, sorry, it is going to affect... Wait. Hold on. No, it is. I'm, I'm very confused, because it's a mechanized division that's attacking, isn't it? But I'm seeing the model of a mechanized uh, division uh, fighting back here. Maybe these guys are the guys attacking Leon, and this guy is the guy defending. If it is, then I'm fucking flabbergasted at how one mechanized division is keeping back a modern tank and four infantry divisions. Either way, we need to hold them now because they are starting to lose a lot of uh, organization and I don't want to leave them too vulnerable to a surprise attack or something. Uh, let's see, we are gaining oil again. Um, not sure what that was about. Might be the strategic bombers. They do suck up a bunch of oil, I believe. Mine laying is done here, so we don't need them here anymore. Maybe we should... Uh, yeah, we should just send them home. And... Uh, Possibly send them to a uh, raid again if we see any more uh, French uh, ships here. That'd become a a bother. 
otherwise uh, we've got the mines on the eastern seaboard of the United States we might want to mine out the Caribbean or yeah because they can't technically they're not going to do it but they could technically slip oil by here they're not going to do it though because the air doesn't actually use the these mecha this mechanic I think they don't uh, reorient their trade routes to avoid dangerous regions as evidenced by our allied trade routes here And also, yeah, uh, Bobbit Canuck pointed out that, uh, you know, it's if we actually manage to fight through the snake here, we would be remembered in the history books for executing the riskiest and most daring maneuver potentially of the war. Uh, although, actually, I think more focus would be on the failure of the extremely risky uh, push over here in Russia. But yeah, the um, uh, this would be remembered. Clearly. And he also mentioned that it would be better than being remembered for, you know, con committing a nuclear genocide, which, you know, true. But uh, in true Norwegian fashion, we kind of don't care as long as we get in the news. Like, if you if you see any news about Nor Norway, uh, hands down, like, every time there's going to be a Norwegian in there who's like, oh, cool, I am from Norway, by the way. Or, um, it's in, it's in a weird meme, basically. Like, hello, I am from Norway. Um, or someone's gonna be like, hell yeah, someone mentioned us. I'm gonna split these guys up, because I think this is a different state, and I think their, um, infrastructure is getting a bit, uh, shit on right now. I think this large snake part isn't, or large snake uh, plan isn't going to work. I think we should go for a smaller snake and go potentially try to rush this now because they have way fewer troops there than they used to. Of course, we need to re regain strength and organization because of all that needless fighting. This is still holding and I'm incredibly proud. Naval base is being upgraded, giving us better supply um, availability or um, yeah, better better um, access to supplies. God, if we just had air superiority, that would be great. They've actually stopped uh, doing the garbage over in, ne in the Netherlands, so we might actually be able to uh, usurp air superiority and then uh, nuke and perform some tactical or some maneuvers using tactical nukes. Oh my god, Li Liberia is actually taking territory from the French. That's the war that uh, I got called into. Volunteers from... Oh, what the fuck? The national populists in Liberia have volunteers from the Union of Socialist American States. I mean, it's not the first time a totalist... Uh, well, totalist in... If we were, uh, a lot of people like to compare this totalist and Kaiserreich to Stalinists, so it, it wouldn't be the first time a totalist has allied with a fascist or a pseudo-fascist for real polit political pragmatic uh, reasons. As in the case where Stalin and Hitler had the secret non-aggression treaty and the secret sort of quote-unquote alliance. It's not really an alliance, and my um, my professor <coughs> professor w uh, during a lecture asked the class, um, like uh, he asked the class who the who Germany was allied to in World War Two, just as like a I was trying to make a point, I think, uh, during a Cold War in Asia um, lecture, and while while doing so, he mentioned. Uh, the or sorry, yeah, w w while doing so, sorry, I got uh, distracted by um by some uh, some uh, text messages and stuff. But yeah, while doing so, he um uh, he uh, said that 
that Germany had an alliance with the Soviet Union and everyone was kind of confused because I don't think anyone has ever heard of it referred in that way before. It might actually be the way you would conceptualize it now and I might just be completely wrong. Also, this is so juicy right now. We gotta, dude. We gotta try. I don't understand why the um, the tank is uh, spending so much time regaining strength when they clearly do have the necessary um, tanks in uh, stockpile. Or at least they, they, they should, otherwise this should drop down. Like the reinforce rate is very low apparently. Yeah, this is an uh, encirclement actually. It should be in just a few moments unless all these uh, reinforcements get in before we get in the whole point of the tank is to get in there before they can get there so that we can stand there and defend hold the tile of course that's not going to work if the tank breaks off before that can happen come on you can do it Alright, we got reinforcements, sadly. See if we can't trade some troops here. Send one division here, and uh, I'm sending one division off that because this is less important uh, to be uh, like to hold this than to hold this. Actually, no, we don't even need that. Cool. We should be good. And now they need to defend. Well, I'm gonna send a bunch of. Uh, Divisions over there. Okay, they're attacking all across the line. That's really bad. That's incredibly bad, which means we need to start attacking across the line as well in a more offensive uh, manner in order to inflict the maximum amount of losses while we still retain the encirclement, which may be broken at some point. They're not attacking over here, though, which means we can probably pull off some of these troops over there. They're going to be low on organization and not going to be very useful, though. A lot of these attacks strike me as pinning attacks. Currently, we have two uh, avenues of supplies, so if... Uh, okay, there we go. Cool. If we get completely uh, destroyed here, we can, in fact, move our troops around a bit, and we can, in fact, reach some uh, escape routes. <coughs> Sorry. Boys cut out a little bit there. Yeah, we are losing this one. God, like, uh, thank God for the Dominion of India. This uh, push here, I think, is going to get overrun. Wait, what the fuck? Didn't we send a... Oh, never mind. That's the one over there. Yeah, I was about to say, didn't we send a full-strength division over there? For full uh, organization, please. Oh, okay, god. They got there. Nice. Uh, these guys aren't fighting anymore. Now there are these. He's attacking somewhere. I don't know where. I'm just gonna do this because... They are completely out of... Um, of everything. So I want to try to put the pressure on them and get them down as soon as possible. And by down, I mean, like, wipe them out. Like there, we're, uh, we're tightening the encirclement. Okay, you guys hold. Uh, he's moving there. Okay, cool. I'll send him on to defend over there as well. We cannot lose this tile. If we do, we lose the encirclement, and that is disastrous.
to reshuffle a bunch of troops here. Also, we have an unassigned division. We have a new division. That's awesome. Sending it to the Liberation Army as well. And I'm going to ship them over as well. This, this uh, division can also move there. We've got what? Oh my god, I couldn't even see. Something from the Ottoman Empire. Which I guess I... Might have been volunteers. I, I guess I just did, denied it, which is sad because I would love those volunteers. Or declined rather than denied would be the proper verbiage. I swear I can speak English. Oh dude, it's so good. Though oh no, it's no it's not it's not it's not so good. I'm blind. I didn't notice. A fatal flaw. Just fucking pour everything in there. Take that, take that gap. Send the tanks in, get the tanks in there. They're, oh, they're sending motorized as well, which is fast. Uh, pin. Secure the gap, and then continue with the uh, the encirclement. That's a plan. They're uh, they're trying to stop the gap here as well, reinforcing it. Okay, cool. We've got it. Now we just need to uh, help out this um, attack here from pretty much every direction. And in doing so, we should be able to um, to wear them out fast. We do, in fact, need our allies around there to attack as well. It's not a huge encirclement, but it is an encirclement, uh, at least, and it does delete a bunch of their divisions, which is very nice. But I believe I'll have to cut this episode short a little bit, because I do have some uh, stuff to attend to, so I apologize for that. But let's see here. Our current... Um, I'm not going to end it quite yet, but I'm, our current um, loss is 426. We can't see just like how much we've inflicted on generally everyone, but um, it's going to be a lot after this encirclement. Uh, if you would uh, conceptualize each uh, division as having uh, 10,000 to 15,000 man, men in it, then, uh, except for the uh, mountain, actually, because they would probably be smaller, as they are elite brigades, or elite divisions. God, our uh, reinforcements here is so slow. realize I'm fighting with low organization and stuff, but uh, the enemy is going to be losing that stuff way faster than us, especially since they're attacking as well. You see their divisions are just being uh, removed from the map. That's why we're doing this. Trying to basically take care of them as fast as possible. Because that will buy us more time to stand still and regain our organization and prepare for another assault. In which case, I think we're going to try for an encirclement here, because there's a nice bulge there. It's 
So this would be the battle for Leon, I suppose. That, um, that we just witnessed, where we completely annihilated what amounts to a full army of the enemy. In terms of manpower and, uh, and just division strength. That's awesome. Alright, well, uh, as I said, I, I will have to cut this episode short, actually, because I have something to attend to, so I'm just trying to get this video done so that I can upload it and process it in time for the uh, release of this video. Uh, in, uh, you know, I, I now and then, some videos are longer, some are shorter, and uh, it, I think in the end it all should, uh, should um, work out. It should uh, sort of even itself out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like, you can follow me on Oh my god, this is awesome. But you can follow me on social media in uh, by following the links in the description down below, and you can also support me on Patreon by following the Patreon link down below as well. One dollar and up is the only tier, because I don't like the idea of uh, providing different rewards for people who have more money and have more to give. I think everyone should uh, receive equal rewards, and everyone should be able to give according to their ability. Uh, that is me talking about Patreon, not politics. I swear. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.